What you didn't hear on a single recording you heard in this case, and there were many played by both parties, is Mr. Depp ever admitting to hitting, punching, or kicking Ms. Heard. You didn't hear it. It doesn't exist. It didn't happen. The defamation trial between Amber Heard and Johnny Depp has been going on for over a month now, and as the case comes to an end, it's becoming more and more clear who's going to win. During the final court proceedings, Amber was set back by major blows, while Depp experienced an unlikely big win. So, what exactly went down? Johnny Depp's lawyer Camille Vasquez accused Amber of lying and told her that her lies, lies have, been, have exposed been exposed to the world, to the world multiple, multiple times, times as she cross-examined the actor on Thursday. Camille also questioned Amber Heard about being involved in perjury and tipping off the press to spin the case in her favor. Johnny has sued Amber for defamation for $50 million, and she has countersued him for $100 million. A day before the final hearing, Camille conducted an aggressive cross-examination of Amber for allegedly lying on the witness stand. He testified he was there, Ms. Heard. Did you hear that? That's his testimony, yes. So you're calling him a liar? I'm just saying he wasn't there. Your lies have been exposed to the world multiple times. Camille asked Amber, to which the latter responded, I haven't lied about anything. Camilla questioned Amber about the events in Hicksville, in which Amber claims that Johnny grabbed a woman's wrist and threatened to break it as he got jealous of her leaning on his wife. Camille asked Amber about contracting testimonies that it was Amber who got jealous because Johnny wasn't paying attention to her, but the actor claimed that many people make statements just to be a part of the Johnny Depp show. Amber had previously claimed that she punched Johnny once because she had heard that he pushed his ex-girlfriend Kate Moss down the stairs. Just in my head instantly think of Kate Moss and the stairs and I swung at him. And was afraid he would do the same to her sister Whitney Heard, who was trying to break a fight between them. Referring to Kate Moss's recent testimony in favor of Johnny, Camille asked Amber if she hadn't expected it, to which the actor said, incorrect. I knew how many people will come out of the woodwork to support Johnny. You told this jury under oath that you punched Mr. Depp because you thought of Mr. Depp pushing Kate Moss down the stairs. You didn't expect Miss Moss to agree to testify that that never happened, did you? Incorrect. I know how many people will come out of the woodwork to be in support of Johnny. Camille also asked Amber if she had tipped off the press when she was making an appearance in court with a bruised face allegedly the result of domestic abuse by Johnny to get a restraining order against him in May 2016. Camille asked, you alerted TMZ you would be filing, and Amber replied, no I did not. I actually had no idea whether they were going to be there or not. Camille pointed out that the media was there on the one day Amber didn't bother to wear makeup to cover up the mark on her face. Denying that her legal team had tipped media, Amber said, what survivor of domestic violence wants that? All testimony ended on Thursday before the closing arguments concluded on Friday, and the jury was retired to deliberate their verdict. On Friday, May 27th, Camille led the closing arguments on the last day of Depp's defamation lawsuit trial against Amber Heard. Vasquez reminded the jurors that Heard filed for a temporary restraining order (TRO) and accused Depp of domestic abuse exactly six years ago on the same date. The lawyer went on to point out the evidence and arguments made by Depp's legal team in favor of the actor. Vasquez told the jury about Heard's audio recordings in which the actress admitted to having hit Depp. Camille Vasquez addressed the jurors and summarized the evidence and witness testimonies presented to the court. She specifically referred to Amber Heard and her sister Whitney Enriquez's testimonies, where they had claimed that Johnny Depp attempted to physically hit them. In her closing argument, Vasquez stated how Heard's claims of the night were only backed by her sister, while Depp's long-term security guard Travis McGivern provided a testimony that contradicted the actress's version of events. Referencing Dr. Curry's analysis, Camille Vasquez said that Heard would rather be in a fight than have him, Depp, leave. The attorney added, There is an abuser in this courtroom, but it is not Mr. Depp. There is a victim of domestic violence in this courtroom, but it is not Mrs. Heard. Camille Vasquez also referred to the assessment of forensic psychologist Dr. Shannon Curry, who had stated, Ms. Heard's deepest fear is one of abandonment, being left by Mr. Depp. The 38-year-old Los Angeles-based lawyer also zeroed in on the audio recordings played before the jury during the closing argument. He, Depp, leaves the fight, especially when Ms. Heard gets physical, and she couldn't stand it when he did. You heard from Ms. Heard herself in audio recordings how upsetting it was to her when Mr. Depp would split, she said. Camille then went on to insist that the real Heard is the one who can be heard in the recordings. This is the real Ms. Heard. 
The one in the audio recordings, not the one you saw in this courtroom. Depp, on the other hand, never admitted to physically abusing Heard. What you don't hear on a single recording in this case is Mr. Depp ever admitting to hitting, punching, or kicking Ms. Heard. It doesn't exist, it didn't happen. What you didn't hear on a single recording you heard in this case, and there were many played by both parties, is Mr. Depp ever admitting to hitting, punching, or kicking Ms. Heard. You didn't hear it. It doesn't exist. It didn't happen. In conclusion, Camille Vasquez addressed the jury and said how there were many unproven allegations from Heard. She asserted that the jury could not believe the allegations selectively. They would either have to accept the entirety of her claims, or they would have to disagree completely. The lawyer added that either Heard is a victim of truly horrific abuse, or she's a woman who's willing to say absolutely anything. The young lawyer from California has caught the attention of millions amid the defamation trial her client brought against his ex-wife. Ms. Vasquez, age 37, has become an unlikely and unwitting co-star of the show, gaining fans from her sharp legal style. T-shirts adorned with her name and hashtags praising her are making the rounds on social media. A two-minute long video of Camille repeatedly interrupting Heard's attorneys to object, a legal term used to lodge a formal protest in court, has amassed well over 27 million views on TikTok in just a few days. The viral clip has even prompted parodies across social media, in which users object to their friends and family in conversation. Collectively, TikTok videos using the hashtag Camille Vasquez have amassed hundreds of millions of views. I am still a Johnny Depp fan, reads one of the many tweets about her, but I'm also now a diehard Camille Vasquez fan. Vasquez's spirited defense of Mr. Depp has also made her a topic of discussion within the hashtag MeToo movement against sexual abuse and harassment. Some critics have accused her of not believing Ms. Heard's claims or discrediting her allegations of abuse. Shout out to Camille Vasquez for single-handedly setting feminism back 50 years in less than two hours, one Twitter user said. History won't remember you kindly. Her supporters, on the other hand, have championed her standing up for the rights of male victims of domestic violence and as a potential role model. Whether or not Camille's popularity among supporters of Depp translates to courtroom success, however, remains to be seen. It's hard to know whether public reaction online is the same that individual jurors are having, Halim Donadina, a defense attorney and former judge, told The Daily Beast. Donadina, however, said that Camille's popularity suggests that the trial is an uphill battle for Heard. The public is not liking you, and even likes Johnny Depp's lawyers more, he said. That has to mess with your head a little. Following Camille Vasquez's closing argument, Depp's other attorney, Benjamin Chu, addressed the jury with his part of the statements. His arguments focused mostly on the Pirates of the Caribbean star's career, behavior, and past relationships. Chu pointed out how none of Depp's former partners have accused him of domestic violence or sexual abuse. He said, he does not deserve to have his life and legacy destroyed by a vicious lie. Later on, Chu argued how the op-ed, which is the crux of the lawsuit, did not need to mention Depp by name as everybody could understand the alleged implications were against the actor. Despite this, some celebrities have come out to defend Amber Heard, and one of them is David Krumholtz. The 44-year-old actor, who co-starred with Heard in the 2011 TV series The Playboy Club, recently took to his Instagram story to share his support for the actress amid Johnny Depp's defamation trial against her. Amber Heard is a victim of abuse by Johnny Depp, Krumholtz claimed. Don't you just love his work? Isn't he handsome? Heard he's a sweetheart. Captain Jack Sparrow! Drugs and alcohol turn men into monsters. He then went on to say, I believe Amber Heard. She is not innocent, but she is a victim. Depp's smugness during the trial is sickening. The reason Johnny Depp lost career opportunities is because he was a total mess. Disney, etc., doesn't care what Amber accused him of. He ruined his public image by being a severe drug abuser and drunk. Krumholtz concluded his post by writing, I worked with Amber Heard. She is not psychotic. She's brilliant and strong and got caught up in the bullshit. She's made a mistake. Why is Johnny suing her? Because he's not owned up to his own raging addiction issues. Now, we would love to hear from you. Do you think Depp is going to win this trial, or do you believe in Amber's innocence? Let us know in the comments section below, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and check out our other videos concerning the Amber Heard-Johnny Depp legal battle. As always, thanks for watching!